There are different versions of trope theory, but I will here continue with Donald Carey Williams' theory, which is sometimes also considered the box standard view of tropes. So let me explain trope theory through his example. So let's talk about lollipops. Williams wants us to consider three lollipops. Each of these three lollipops are similar in some respects, but also different in other respects. Williams begins by giving names to the first two lollipops. Heraplem and Boaner. A part of each lollipop consists of a stick which is also given a name, Paraplete and Merinal. The whole particular lollipops, Heraplem and Boanerp, are similar in the way that their sticks are exactly similar. Here, Williams writes on the topic of exact resemblance, that we admit literally and seriously that to say that A is partially similar to B is to say that a part of A is wholly or completely similar to a part of B. So the sticks of the lollipops, for an example, completely resembles each other. But an important note here is that even though the sticks are exactly similar, they are not the same, they are distinct. We can then continue to make up names for the even finer parts of each lollipop, such as their particular shape and color. What's important here is that we're not naming what kind of shape or what kind of color it is. We're naming each individual instance. Just like we're, we're naming a baby at a baptism, we're not naming what kind of a baby it is, right? we're naming an individual. And also, when we're discussing similarity here, it doesn't matter if it's similarity on molecular structure or on phenomenal quality. It's applicable to both. Another important fact about these names is, for instance, that Harlac, which is the color component of Heraplem, should not be seen as an abbreviation of the color component of Heraplem. It is the name for this single unique entity of color. It is a trope. And the way we should look at Heraplem and Boanerp of having the same shape is in the same way we would look at two soldiers having the same uniform. Sameness in this matter is different from when we say that two children have the same father. We can go on and on and give names to the even more finer and more subtle details of each lollipop. But the point is, is that each entity is unique. As unique as a child with a name, so should we treat each entity and these finer details are just as real as the bigger and grosser parts. The grosser parts should be considered as concrete particulars, like the lollipop is a concrete particular, and the more abstract and finer details such as the shape and the color is considered abstract. But the more we combine these abstract components, the more concrete it becomes. Color plus shape plus weight plus length etc. equals the whole concrete particular lollipop. So an object we perceive is the sum of tropes. All the abstract and finer components discussed should be considered as the primary constituents of reality. The alphabet of being. The tropes.